what's up guys welcome back to drew tutorial and in today's video i'm going to show you how to back up your samsung galaxy smartphone to google drive right so in order to do this you want to access your settings so do a swipe up and you want to look for settings within the many apps here or you can simply type in settings at the top there and you'll be able to find settings now once you open this you want to scroll all the way down to where it says account and backup or if you see the google services you want to go ahead and tap on it so you can access it from google services here and then go to backup it will take you here or if you go from accounts and backup then you are able to see more than the you'll see, you'll, you'll be able to see multiple types of backups the samsung cloud and also the google drive if you tap on backup with google drive as we're planning to do here it would take you right back here now at the top there you are able to see your account storage and you will see the email address that is that that is assigned or associated with this current um, storage here you can manage your storage so if you tap on that you'll be able to see how your storage is being used so you'll be able to see what percentage of your storage is taken up with google drive your emails your google photos and device backup you will see there if there is any backup already done here right below you'll see the different devices as well right now i'm going to go back here now below that you are able to see if the backup is on you can see the toggle on there and you have the button to back up now slightly below that you have the backup details you have the apps it's telling you how many apps will be back up and the size if you have videos and photos turned on if you tap on that you're able to see if it's on or not as well and you can toggle it on if you would like to back up photos and videos so it's important to check that then if you go back into your settings here as well you're able to see that sms mms message and the size and call history device settings and so forth right and as well it's important to know if you have wi-fi then you want to ensure that when you're doing these backups that you don't use up your mobile data and you enable using wi-fi so below you see below you see the advanced settings that says backup using mobile data or metered wi-fi data right so you can choose right but i always suggest to do so when you're connected to wi-fi it's much better it's much better and you don't want to have to use up your storage now once you do that all you have to do is just tap the backup button there guys as you will see it will start the backup now this will be this will backup automatically for you so you can easily go ahead and close the app if you need to and yeah once you do that then your backup will automatically start and you can continue using your phone as you so desire as you can see there mine is currently backing up and that's all there is to it very easy and very simple 